Hey everyone, my name is Isaac Bing, and I'm the project lead at MindAI. Um, and unfortunately, the founders, Paul and Josh, couldn't be here, uh, but we'll, Paul will be in New York for a workshop uh, with the H, uh, WHO for AI for Health uh, this, um, t starting tomorrow, or Wednesday. So if anyone's in New York, we're also hosting a meetup. So if you can see the screen, um, it's, a, it's a two screenshots of a phone uh, screen. And I'm sure a lot of you can relate to this. You open up your phone and you see a bunch of red notification badges kind of screaming for your attention. And a study by the ACM found that an average smartphone user gets about 64 notifications every day. And we're talking about an average smartphone user. So everyone in this room will probably get five, ten times more. And everyone that's doing business internationally will get these notifications flooding their phone all hours of the day. And while it's obvious that notifications are useful. Um, they're distracting and time consuming. And there's no way to really customize how you get notifications other than kind of turning them on or off. And they're not prioritized. It's just in the order of whatever came in first. And all of these issues lead to important notifications being either lost or unintentionally ignored. And some apps and uh, operating systems try to improve notifications, but there hasn't been much improvement. And the main reason for that is there's no software or artificial intelligence that's capable of contextualizing information. And that's what we're working on at MindAI. So MindAI is a third wave AI system that utilizes a brand new unique data structure that we call a canonical to perform human-like reasoning. And as you can see on the left side, that is a canonical. And it allows us to intake unstructured natural language and perform deductive, inductive, and abductive reasoning to a body of text. And doing so allows the AI to understand and contextualize information. And the more knowledge it, it gets and the more context it accumulates, it's able to start generalizing the the information. So for example, let's say we input three ontologies, number one being the definition of a pilot. Let's say we define a pilot as someone who flies a plane. The second ontology we input, let's say Tufi is a pilot. And then the third ontology we say Tufi flies a 747. Then with those three ontologies, Mind AI is able to make an inference that a 747 is a type of an airplane. Obviously, this is a very simplified explanation of how the reasoning process works. But with that reasoning process and, and the technology, uh, we've partnered with Toda to create a, a software suite of intelligent executive assistant tools. And we do this by using personalized ontologies. So we get the incoming outgoing messages, uh, figure out the context, uh, the various information within notifications and other personal preferences to build a very personalized um, ontologies. And we do the same thing and create personalized action items, uh, whether it's making a reservation or replying to an email or setting up a meeting, et cetera. And the most importantly, all of the sensitive private user informations are stored in each of the user's device. It never leaves the phone. And all the, all the send and pull requests for the APIs are done at the total level. So there's no third party interception of any of the sensitive data. And so doing this, uh, taking this approach allows us to customize notifications based on uh, personal priorities and <clears throat> preferences. 
And in addition, it also lets us create uh, personalized action items and even the uh, smart replies for say, you can have a personal touch and make it your personal voice. And the ultimate goal really is to create an AI powered assistant that can start handling more simpler tasks automatically without us having to go through every single uh, notification that we get. And so here's a concept of the notification manager. Um, you would see a bunch of notifications that come in, they're categorized into different priority buckets. And clicking on each priority bucket will show you the notifications that were classified into each bucket. Clicking into each item will give you a list of personalized uh, action items that you can take. And you know, after you take the action, uh, the notifications are cleared. And again, this would be to um, eventually teach the device to handle these things on its own. And the, the important part about uh, MindOT is that it will be a part of the overall Mind AI ecosystem as a developer. Um, whenever we develop a tool, it would be available on the, uh, in the ecosystem and individuals, enterprises, and even other developers can, can subscribe to the service and utilize the tools that we built. And even more significant is the ontology database. So when MindOT builds these different executive assistant tools, we also have to build a database of ontologies that allow each tool to do its reasoning processes. And these, tool, uh, these uh, ontologies will be pretty much owned by MindOT and whenever another like third party, let's say Amazon comes in and says, okay, we wanna utilize this uh, Mind AI reasoning engine to improve Alexa. And let's say they start using the ontologies that we've already built. Every time they access the ontologies that we've built, we are rewarded tokens in the ecosystem from them using our, our ontologies. And so, okay. Yeah, so uh, we're gonna skip the, <laughs> the actual uh, proof of concept demo, but what we've done is we've, the Mind AI team and the Toyota team have been working together for the past couple months to create a, a proof of concept for this model. And the first tool we've been building is an email assistant. So what we're doing is we're allowing users to pretty much create a very personalized um, action items for the incoming emails that they get. So each email that comes in, Mind AI, reads the email, figures out what the context is, who's sending it, and we can start to prioritize based on you know, what, what's important to this person and what kind of action items is important to specific uh, individual. And that's it. <laughs> Thank you.